Hello there everyone, this is Neca Knight here, getting ready to play Craftopia. Woohoo! Alright, so in the very very end of the episode, if you managed to make it that far, I showed you guys the end of the world. Or whatever the hell this is called right here, watch. Give me a second. You have arrived at the edge of the world, better stop now, and as you can see, it's, it's hurting me. Whee! Okay, okay, enough stupid world. Uh, depending on how long the boss fight takes, I'll show you how I got into here. I, I showed an example at one point where I, it, it involved the bed and sleeping and all that other fun stuff. Uh, but it took me forever to figure it out and, uh, I didn't record it sadly because I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Still ain't sure. But now we're going to go play with that one dungeon I came in the previous episode where I got stuck in a loop. Because I'm curious as hell about that boss. Wee. So there's something important here, but I don't know what the hell it is or when or where we're going to deal with that. But hey, for now I'm just going to try and glide in over to here and uh, hope that I can make it. And I probably will, but... We're going to also probably do a Superman landing. Oh, I didn't know there was a boss ring there. At some point, I'm going to be heading that way. It looks like you can see one, two, two towers over there. And then you've got the volcano over there. I do hope this place is uh, going to eventually turn into... Aw, oh, you mother flip nuggets. Where the hell did I... Okay, well, I guess we'll take a moment to show you how I did this. Just uh, let me run back, teleport. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought I might have ended up somewhere weird. So, I don't know if I can actually get it to work work. It could have just been a fluke. That's why I went ahead and grabbed that teleport there. Because once you got the tower you can pretty much enter at will as far as I can tell and as you can see you got to be careful of where and how you fly around in there because you can accidentally trigger oops mode or what I call oops mode because realistically you're not supposed to be in there at all but uh, once the update changes, or um, when their update comes out, it's going to change. So I don't know if the, the way I do, the way I'm going to show you guys will still work. But we're going to figure that out. Alright, is this respawned yet? Mm, nope, still stone. Okay. So, for me, how I got into here was... Where the hell? I'm not sure if this is closer or this is closer. Um, There's a certain spot where all three places connect into one. And uh, I think it's right here. So I think this is going to be closer. If I've got the time, hopefully I can take on the dungeon boss. All right, yes, this is closer because that right there where the wall and the rocks there meet, that's how you, how, where I got in at. We got to heal. All right, make sure to have a bed. Now, like I said, I can't guarantee this method will work. It could have just been a fluke on my part. And, uh, because my brother did it a different way. Like he, he figured out how to get in a different way. I, I, this is how I figured out how to get in. And which means it, my way may not work for you. As you can see, I tried a few different <laughs> different kinds of attempts. <laughs> One is, uh, yeah, going way up in the air. That was for sure. <laughs> Didn't work, sadly, at least not for me. It might work for you. Okay, so we gotta figure out where to go because I don't want to trigger the oops, uh, you're not allowed here. And I can't, and I don't know how I managed to do it exactly. I just know the rough concept of what I did. 
Come on. Like I said, stamina is very important. Alright, we're going to need to find roughly the exact point where it goes, hey. Yeah, right there, and... Yeah, okay. So, I think... This may not be the exact spot, but get in it. You'll drop down inside, hopefully. You'll reset the spawn thing. You, uh, once that happens, you can save and qu quit. Oops, I meant save and return. So you're going to see the screen go. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Well, let's get this back up. I didn't mean to actually close the game off. So don't worry, it's going to take a moment for this to load up. There we go, single player, this, streaming, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, it's going to be about timing how you get off and when you get off the bed in order to achieve this. It may take a couple of tries. You may get it the first time. Who knows? But let's see if we can get this to work. And uh, da, 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 da. first, make a workbench using the workbench, create a blacksmith, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, da, 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 da. Takes a moment to load because, yeah, I don't have the best computer. It's pretty decent. It's not the best, though. All right. How much longer? I'd appreciate it. Because uh, when I first... Whoop. Uh, I may have to save and exit this uh, to the title and to click back on again. Like I said, it could have just been a fluke. And it could have been just the timing of it too. I don't remember if I had my settings all the way down or all the way up. Because he did have different settings and I did have different settings. Come on, can we get this to work? If not, I'll simply return back and, uh, uh well, I guess I'll have to say good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> you might have to experiment yourself. At least I've given you a starting point on something you could potentially test. And I really don't know how I did it either. And uh, if I fell again, I, I'm probably just going to go to the warp and get in and do the boss fight. Because that's what this main thing's supposed to be. Checking out that dungeon. Can I enter by mysterious force? Oh, that's a new one. All right. I'll I'm going to see if, if if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then oh well. I can't spend the entire time trying to get this the work because like I said, I think it might have just been a fluke. Come on. And also, it might require you to be at all three points. In other words, you have to be next to Sherbert, next to the ice, and next to Awotasu or whatever. Because that's roughly where I got it to work. And I may have to try at a different point. Once I can figure out how to get it to consistently work, I'll let you guys, I'll show exactly how I do it. Until then, we're stuck with this uh, method that I know. And it always takes forever. Ah, great. It's, it's still bugging out.
Woo! All right, I'll try. I'll try and figure out some other time. Right now, we need to get to the boss fight. I'm, but that was roughly how I did it. In other words, I placed it down on the ground, although I didn't fall into that place. I think what I did is I slept on the bed as it reset. And then once it set, I saved an exit right as the screen turned to, to like black, signifying that this thing was saved, like I said. I wish I knew how to do it. I wish I could show you guys better. A lot of it, I think, comes down to timing. Anyways, boss fight. I don't think I have enough time, though, but hey, you never know. Some of these dungeons I've cleared exceptionally quickly. Oh, yeah, I got to change up some. Actually, it doesn't matter if I change my skills. I just use the gun anyways. There's no skills for that right now. So being able to run around quickly and uh, fast might actually be a good thing. And I knew that the potential of something like that happening was very high. That's why the very first thing I did before I screwed over anything was grab a warp gate or uh, and one of this and this. That way I knew I could guarantee to enter whether I should be allowed to or not. Uh, the swords are a risk. You could potentially screw yourself over by entering the swords. Just like uh, if you enter the dungeon, you can pretty much potentially screw yourself over. As you can see, once you get one, um, figure out how to get in, you can warp to the portal or warp to the uh, thing. And as you can see, you can come in at any time. But there, the update is coming up pretty quickly. So there's really no point in having to get in here unless you're really wanting to get to the uh, that boss. So if you want that boss, then sure. Hi. You're dead. You're dead. Can I get you in the head? Yes, you're dead. That's the one thing I like about the rifle. It's very strong, uh, or not very strong, but it it's perfect at the proper range. Some of the skills I hope they add is reload speed, magazine size, uh, effective range. You know how there's like the yellow dot or yellow circle? Wait, what? Uh, uh. Ah, ha, ha. Whoa. No. Okay. Got to be careful here. Holy flip nuggets. Oh, yeah. The fun thing is... Ooh. Uh. Oh. Woo. Ah, no. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, you might have flip nuggets. I, I guess if you fall too low... You get put into a oops, you're dying situation. Nice to know. Uh, I don't really, I don't think there's going to be anything in that chest. I am curious about it. Got to be careful with dodging, apparently. Ow. Wait, what? Mother flip nuggets, is there a time limit? I'm gonna lose all my money from this. Oh well. Holy flip. That thing eats. Hopefully, I have a chance to get to that now that they're all dead. Because I'm, I'm curious. I'm sure once we get high enough that we're not going to have to worry about that. But uh, Or once they release it. Oh, ew. Ah! Okay, well, now we know there's nothing worth it in that stupid thing. 
Okay, well, let's continue with the dungeon. I think uh, I know that as of right now, because uh, I'm entered a dungeon that I shouldn't be, that was worthless as hell. What the hell? You thought you got me, you stupid land thing. Gonna try it again. <laughs> Most likely it's just gonna phase right. Yep, okay. I think I broke the game. Can I ye make it to at least this? Is this one landable? Yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, don't you like it when you break games? I was half worried that was gonna I was gonna phase through that. Ooh, what the hell? Oh I don't think I wanna be on that. Whoop. Hi spikes. You're dead. Yep. Ha 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 ha. You can't reach me if I can triple jump. Ooh, ooh, small cure thingy. Is that killable? Oops, I missed. That yellow thing. Oh, I can't shoot through the spikes. No, I just can't shoot it. Ow. Ow, stop it. Oh, I didn't jump fast enough. So what the hell is with this? Is there something I'm supposed to... Oh. You're dead. Woo! He's dead. Oops, missed my shot. Come back here. Dang it, missed it again. Really? What the hell am I shooting that's making me miss? There we go. I am curious if that's a tier 3 uh, we weapon. Ooh, it is. Attack speed, 100%. Magic attack 40, mana consumption. Nice. That seems to be broke. There should be an attack to it. Alright, that's one section done. Let's go over and complete this section. Then we'll see if we can finish the fight boss. And then I'll probably have to uh, practice getting in and out and all that fun stuff. You can't use a power, can't build, can't wire hook. I want to know what the hell the... Oh. I want to know what the hell a the wire hook is. Can I jump? Oh, I, I can jump. This is moving painfully slow. Can I shoot that? Yes, but I don't think it did anything. Whoa, hello there. Hi, guys. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, big guys. Ooh -wee. Bye. I don't care about you. But I am curious about solving this dungeon. Whoop. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Ooh! That's gotta be a tier 3. Yes! Really? Only 70, 70 more damage than my rifle? Wow. That's, I was kind of... Oh yeah, I don't have two-handing. Oh well. I could always get the skill for it anyways. I'm going to have to reset my skills anyways. 
All right, so what what do we do? Do we go blue first or do we go? Uh, realistically, I don't think it matters. I think I could literally just uh, go to that and then jump across it. But what if we turn? Nope. So actually, oh, we can't jump. Dang it. All right, so it looks like you have to turn the blue one off, turn the red one on, come over to here to the yellow one. Thank you that for not dropping out from underneath me. I would have cried. Red. Mm. No, not red. Ah, back red. We got to go back red. That should activate the blue. And that should activate... Ah! Dang it. No! I got distracted. Oops. All right. Yeah, I hit this red. And then we hit the blue. Then we can hit that red. And I think we can hit the... Yellow here. And we should be across. So if you watch this and pay attention, you'll probably figure out the puzzle. I've already kind of for forgot it, sadly. That quickly. Open. Yay! Can't use power, spill, jump, wire hook. Even in the old version before this, I didn't even know what the hell a wire hook was, and I was playing it before this. The fun thing is, is once you beat the boss uh, the first time, if you haven't reloaded the game, that blue shield doesn't remain up, and there's a fun thing you can do. Now the question is, ooh, 45? Do I have a... Ooh, he's... He's Crimson Eye Lizard Execution. Wee! Oh, he jumped back. That's stupid of you. Like, no joke. Whoop! The hell are you doing? You boosting your attack? Woo! He's fa fast. Dang it. Yeah, nope. I'm not going to do that. Come on. Ow! I may have to heal. You missed. Dang it, you're not giving me enough time to flipping. There we go. <laughs> Ow! No, stop it. There's a moment when I can get him. It's just a matter if I can actually woo, get there. Yay, he's dead. Ooh. Ah, I got to make room. I got to figure out what the hell to drop. Um, we're keeping that. We're keeping, we can get rid of that. Uh, we're keeping that. We... Uh, we can draw, we can put the stone in the picture book. Might as well. Give me that. And, uh, what else can we put? Because I want the enchant. Uh, you know what? We can extract the ice. And we can put the ice in there. Because ice is actually easy to get. Where the hell is it? Ah, here we are. And then... Oh, ew. Okay. Oops. 
Also, I didn't know you can offer directly here like that. That's neat. That's gonna make things easier. All right, boss is dead. That thing's that. We can go through here. And if I get the key, I'm gonna open up this is <laughs> the next like, age of science. <laughs> Give me the key. Yes! Wait. Oh, you mother flip nuggets. That's not the key I want. Now I'm gonna cry. Ooh. I did not actually expect to get all kinds of random junk. Grassland spring. Dang it. You know what? We could get rid of the wood. Picture book. Uh, da 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 da. But I am gonna have to practice with get getting that, uh, figuring out a consistent way to open. Okay, well, what the hell am I gonna get else? What what do we got? Paladin shield, elephant spring, Jersey life potion. We got a few weird things. We've got painting of sunflower. What the hell? Freezing ice copper. Don't really care about that. Ooh, I want the ceramic. Uh, na, 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 na. You know what? We'll get we'll extract and then offer. Give me that. Don't really care about the rest of that. So that was quite interesting. So I know the game's gonna go. I hate you. Yep. There we go. All right. Well, I'm gonna... Alright, it puts me back in the dungeon. So, I guess if you guys enjoyed watching me uh, attempt to get back in here and uh, all that other fun stuff, please like. If you didn't, I understand. I'm sorry I didn't show a proper way how to get in here. I did show you how I did it, just not how it, not how it worked. But if you do manage to get it to work... And, in the meantime, I'm glad I could help. If not, I'll try my I'll try better. And I'm going to have to warp to the starting point and all that fun stuff. So mother flip nuggets. If you guys want to see more of this, uh make sure to check out the end screen credits as I will be doing more. And if you want to see other games I play, I do play other games like Icarus and Satisfactory and a bunch of other games in the process. I mean, I do have over, or I'm going into my third year now, so 365, 365, so about 700 and something videos. So, yeah. Anyways, if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After a certain period of time, I'll add you on. If you're private, I wish I could acknowledge you publicly, but I don't think I have that ability just yet. Anyways, I'll have to say bye-bye and see you next time.